All right, this is lesson seven, character animation. Um, we already built our bones and our joints on our monkey character here, and now we want to look at trying to do the uh, allow those bones to move and stop uh, in a way that we want it uh, to to work. Um, so let's like take a look at the hips here. So, so these are going where we don't want them to go. We want these to kind of stay still right in here. So let's go into our properties. Um, we'll select this torso bone. And one thing we can do is we can pin it. Um, which if, if you see if you go to this joint right here and click, there's an automatic uh, check mark on the pin. So then now that, that hip does not move at all. But let's say we want that hip to go up and down and have a little bit of rotation. Uh, so we don't want it to be pinned. So let's, um, so we can, you know, uncheck our pin and uncheck our enable. So there it, it won't, it's not moving, but it still will go all over the place. So let's command Z and do that. Um, so we're going to go down in here and select uh, the hip bone where it connects to the first leg bone. So select that one, and let's uh, constrain that somewhat. Um, now, if, if you move the left ups, left offset, um, you can see that's about. You see, if you can see it right in here, that little green, it's hard to see, but it allows us to show how much it's going to constrain and how how much movement it's going to do. And it, you can see the blue on the other side, it automatically constrains on the on the right side as well. Um, so we don't want that much movement, so let's go down, we'll go down to minus six, and move this one to positive six. And so that rotation is very limited now, it only goes that far. Now we don't want it to go too far when we move it up and down. So we want, on that same hip bone, uh, we want to uh, constrain our Y translation here also. Um, so you can see, there are also, like I said, they're hard to see, but there's a little slash mark. It shows how far it'll go up and down. And it turns blue when you move it. Um, so right now, it goes way too far up. Um, so let me select that again. And let's move that constraint. Um, I think the top one should be okay. But that bottom one, I want to limit it. I think I'm going to put that down to zero. I'm not going to give it any movement down below. That way it, go, it does go up and down on that little that mark. It doesn't go too far past the body, so that looks good to me. Okay. And now let's say, I know right now, these legs kind of go all the way around, but let's say we want to limit those. And we'll do the same thing. We'll do a constraint. And we'll just do it a little bit differently though. Let's select this bone. So this is our the top part of our leg bone. And you'll notice a little blue arrow comes up. Um, if you select that outside rim circle, Select it once and it gets bigger. And you select it a second time and it, it gives you this blue mark and it allows you to move to where it where the blue area tells you where you can how far you can constrain it. So it's a little bit more visual. So let's let him maybe maybe go there and we'll we'll give it a pretty far. He can go back pretty far. Maybe limit it a little bit more here on the on the front part. Let's see how that looks. Oh, and then click on the outside. And that should finish it. And you can see that's where we limited it to. Maybe a little too high. Let's let's maybe go back and limit that a little bit more. I almost want to limit my my hip a little bit more too it's almost too much room so i'm going to 
go back and select that bone on that constraint. Um, I think on the bottom I want to do a little bit less. Put that back down to zero. Yeah, and uh, that gives me hardly any room. Now I'm going to go back to that bottom leg, select that, and you, and you see when you select it, it turns green. I forgot to mention that. And let's go click that outer blue, and then click the red, and let's make it a little less up high. Maybe about, let's try there. And click on the outside, and move it back and forth. Oh, I, like the, I like the back one now. Let me look at this one. And see, that one's okay. So I'm going to move over here to my right offset. And if you look at that green, it comes down a little bit. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that looks more like it. Okay, I'm going to try to give that maybe that same arc over to this one. So select, and select the blue again. Select on the outside, and see how that looks. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Maybe we'll try it one more time on the on the monkey's arm. I'll select his bone. Click that blue circle, the outside of the blue circle, the red circle, and then whoops, try that again. Outside circle, red circle. Hmm, it's not letting me do it. Ah. Strange. It's it's going backwards. I don't want it to do that. Well, let me move this one. Maybe it's because I went the wrong way. I think that's what it was. So I want this one to be able to move all the way back there. And this one, he should only be able to really move it. To that about to about that point. So let's click outside. Yeah. So that's kind of more of a natural arm movement. All right. Now let's say I screwed up this arm really bad, so bad that I have to delete the arm and reconnect the bones. So let's. I'm gonna I'm gonna come in see copy the bones, and we delete them. You can bring them out. You can go back in your library and bring them out that way, but since I copied them, I'm just going to paste them back over here. And it will say you can't um, add it to an inverse chromatic frame because that's on our armature layer. So I'm going to hit OK, and I have to add a layer, a new layer. So now that that layer is selected, I'm going to hit um, Command-V or Edit Paste in Place. And there it went right back to where it started. And now that will actually be on the armature layer. Or no, it's it's still on that layer. But I want it to go to that armature layer. And it will do that once I use the bone tool. So let me select. So this is my last bone here that I've created. And I'm going to use the I have to select the bone tool now that I've got my bone selected. Now I select the bone tool. And I'm going to click on that that joint right there, and I'm going to click, left click, and then drag to the very top of my next arm, and then click and drag again onto the hand. All right, now I'll go to my selection tool, and now it works again. Although that joint is probably not in the right place. You can see it looks like his arm's being broken. So one thing I could do select the free transform tool and it's already selected and move that joint up a little bit higher. So 
selection tool, go to my selection tool, and it's out of place a little bit, so let me hit my option and move the arm back into place and then move the hand back in place. There we go. If I want, I would go back and I would have to change this back again also. I'm spending too much time on this, I think. Sorry. This one over here. Click outside. And there we have it. All right, I'm going to call this the end of this lesson.